Hello all my dear students welcome back to prudence coaching if you can solve this particular question within 30 seconds then you can skip the video but if you don't know how to solve this within 30 seconds i will suggest you to watch this particular video because this question is one of the previous year question of rrb ntpc which was held on 7th jan 2021 and this shortcut trick to find out the answer within 30 seconds you will not find anywhere Yes, it may take time to understand the question but I assure you after watching the complete video you can solve it within seconds and this is going to be very important for your upcoming exams. So let's start with the question. Davis leaves his home every day at 7 am and reaches office at 8.30 am. So Davis is a person who leaves his home at 7 am and reaches the office at 8.30 am. That means from 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. total he is taking 1.5 hour time or 1 hour 30 minute he is taking to travel. One day he left his home at 7 a.m. So a situation is given when one day he is leaving the home at usual time that is 7 a.m. But traveled a fifth of distance so he is traveling one fifth of the original distance we don't know the original distance it is not mentioned in the question but it is said he is traveling one fifth of the original distance at a speed of 5 by 6 of usual speed so we don't know the usual speed as well but he is traveling at 5 by 6 of the usual speed and rest of the distance so one fifth distance he has covered so rest of the distance he is traveling at the speed of 6 by 5 of the usual speed approximately at what time did davis reach office on that day so on this particular day when he reached the office you need to calculate so here as you don't know the original distance even the original speed and here in the denominator we have 5 and 6 so let us assume a speed which is LCM of this 5 and 6 so that our calculation become easier. So if we take the LCM of 5 and 6 we will get 30. So let us assume the original speed to be 30 km per hour. Now if his original speed is 30 km per hour and normally he takes 1 hour 30 minute to travel that means his original distance you can calculate that is speed multiplied by time if you multiply 30 into 1.5 you will get 45 kilometer so 45 kilometer is the distance or original distance and original speed is 30 kilometer per hour this much is clear now let us see now in the first case it is said that he is traveling one fifth distance so here total distance is 45 so 45 into 1 by 5 that is 45 by 5 you will get 9 km so in the first case he traveled 9 km and the speed is 5 by 6 of the original speed and original speed we have assumed to be 30 so 30 into 5 by 6 you will get 25 km per hour as the speed here now the remaining distance in the second case the remaining distance total distance was 45 so 45 minus 9 you will get 36 km that is the remaining distance traveling this 36 km at the speed of 6 by 5th of the original speed original speed is 30 so we are getting here 36 km per hour as the speed in the second case now overall that means if we add this two time you will get the overall time but here in the first case if you calculate the time we know the formula of time that is distance by speed so here the time will be 9 by 25 that is distance by speed and in the second case the time will be 36 km that is distance divided by 36 km per hour that is speed so here you are getting one hour plus some thing in fraction that is also in hour so let us convert this hour thing that is 9 by 25 as we cannot cancel this further into minute so you need to multiply by 60 so that you can convert this hour into minute 
so if we cancel by 5 5 5 is a 25 5 12 is a 60 so 12 into 9 you are getting 108 divided by 5 that is equal to if you calculate 5 2 is a 10 5 1 is a 5 point something you are getting as you need the approximate value no need to calculate in second so we are getting 1 hour 21 minute approx as the total duration but he has started at 7 am so from 7 am if you calculate 1 hour 21 minute then you will get 8 past 21 am as our final answer that is option number 2 so i think all of you can solve this particular question within 30 seconds now you can try it out and if you find the content of this video helpful do like subscribe and share this video with your friends and to get notification of newly uploaded important videos of our channel you need to click on the bell icon see you in the next video with new important concept till then keep practicing keep improving